Hey everybody, uh, I had a new idea for a video. Um, while I was going around the house and looking at things that I was packing up and things getting ready for my big move, uh, I came across some records that uh, I figured I was going to junk. I have a, a, a stack of records that for one reason or another I don't need, either whether I have them in doubles or whether they're in bad condition or some kind of thing. I just decided that I'll just give these records to Goodwill, um, which is very, very close here, right around my block. Um, you know, we all know uh, well, going to Goodwill and uh, thrift stores and searching through a lot of really crappy records. <laughs> and uh, sometimes you find some gems in there. Sometimes you find records like these. I thought it would be a good idea for a video. What if I was to just go through this on camera and show you what I have in my uh, crap pile to give to Goodwill. And... Uh, I'll explain as I go along as best I can why I'm getting rid of these records. I'm going to start with this one. It's uh, Olivia Newton-John, Have You Never Been Mellow? Um, and the reason that I, I think I have this one uh, to give to Goodwill is the cover is pretty messed up. You know, a lot of ring wear and dark garbage on here. I found this, I think, in the shrink wrap. So this is just a matter of an upgrade for this album. And the same thing's going to go with a lot of Connie Francis records that are here. Uh, you know, here's, here's one that I had, as you can see. Split seams, I have no need for that. You know, uh, I do occasionally collect garbage records, only if there's no other way I can get them. When I was going through the, some of the Connie records, uh, I figured if I, if I can find them in better shape as I go along, they're only like a dollar each, right? Two dollars, I'll just keep upgrading. I don't know where I, how I got this. America Sings, The Great Sentimental, Volume 2, The Great Sentimental Age, The Greg Smith Singers, New York Vocal Arts Ensemble. I don't know where this came from. Um, it's a multi-record set. I don't know how I got this in the house. Uh, this is an album that I know I got an upgrade of, um, Love Child, Diana Ross and the Supremes. I found this in better shape, and, uh, the record, I think it was kind of beat. Uh, back when I went crazy with my Christmas, uh, buying, uh, I've got a lot of Christmas records. This was one of them I got, uh, Jesse Crawford, Organs and Chimes. But I think I got this in... The record was in better shape or something. I don't know. This was interesting. Uh, a lot of Beach Boys fans might wonder about this. I picked this up because it was upside down. This was like a, a curious album where the cover was wrong. Was, you, for, you have the front cover pasted on like that, and the back cover is the right way. Uh, very strange. If you look at the top, it has the file under thing written straight and as you can see this the slick was put on backwards I don't know maybe it's good as a conversation piece but I don't know I don't need that and I, quite frankly I decided I'm not really interested in early Beach Boys albums anyway um, I think I'm just satisfied with the hits so any Beach Boys albums really I just want the, the hits I like the hit singles and hit, hit songs uh, this one I might hold on to I don't know this is uh, Funny Girl Barbara Streisand. I picked this up really because my girlfriend likes uh, Barbara Streisand. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll hold this for her. I think that's why I got it in the first place. Um, here's a Billy Joel, just a record only. 52nd Street. I know I got this in better shape. This is all scratched up. Just a record. Here's American Graffiti. I think I got it. I might have a couple of spare copies of this album. This is an album that I bought a couple of times till I got it in really nice shape. This is not really bad shape at all, but... And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I was going to hold on to this one because... You know, when you're talking it's a two-record set, and uh, I was going to try to match the best two records I could find to make a nice set. I got this two or three times, and I have to hold on to that, I think. Here's another Connie Francis album. Split seams. Got this in better shape. 
Same thing for this album. This one, movie soundtrack, came along in better shape. Same thing for this album. A lot of these, you know, just upgrades. This one has some water damage down there in the corner. So I uh, got that better. So a lot of this is going to be split seams, you know. Actually, here I have a uh, Beatles record. It's the Yesterday and Today album, the original, but uh, without a cover. It's kind of scuffed up and scratched up. This is useless. And I probably at some point bought an album for a really nice cover, but the record wasn't in good shape. Here's Ringo Starr, Stop and Smell the Roses. I've got this album with the cover and shrink wrap a few times. So this is just the record. The record's in, in good shape. I mean, it's as good as new, but it uh, doesn't have a cover. Now, this is all stuff that I just want to get out of the house, and the stuff that I'm not bringing with me, I'm going to just go around the corner and dump it at Goodwill. Sing Along with Mitch Miller, Columbia Six Eye label. It's a nice shape. I just don't think I'm going to really use this record. Sing Along with Mitch. Doesn't have a cover. Here's an album, Christmas in New York. I always, I like this one just for the cover, but I know I found this in nice shape. This one's a little split. It seems it messed up. Here's a Sinatra album in pretty good shape, uh, but I know I have this elsewhere. I've got this in duplicate, but this is this is going to be a good one. This is in good sh good shape, just a du duplicate double. Another Cody Francis greatest hits, a little messed up. Got this in better shape. This tape running across the top. Here's a pretty nice condition. Simon and Garfunkel. It's got the shrink wrap on it. It's got a Corvette sticker on it. Uh, nice find for somebody, but I already have this also with shrink. This is a double. I know a lot of people are going to be thinking, oh, why don't you give them to me? Send them to me. You know, some, some of these records. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, no, I just want to, you know, this is a quick and easy solution. Here's an album here I have in doubles. Connie and Clyde. Uh, Diana Ross and the Supremes. This is like a kind of k -tell type of album. This is, well, from Canada. But uh, the record is really scratched up. I bought it. It has a really beautiful cover. I don't know. I, it's a dollar somewhere, so I kept it. Figured maybe I could frame the cover. More uh, Connie Francis. Okay, the next one is... Uh, this, is a, this is funny. Uh, last February, almost a year ago now... I went to the fest for Beatles fans, and uh, you had, uh, uh, who was there, uh, Peter and Gordon, and I actually bought this record at the Beatle fest for, to have him possibly sign it, I never got it signed, and uh, the reason, this is torn This is torn up for a reason, I didn't buy it like this, and I drew the beards on it, I, was, I remember, some of you may remember, I made a a video which I deleted real quickly about some guy buying really trashy records and I deliberately kind of like tore this one up a, a lot to kind of like make the video a little funnier. This was just, I originally bought it just to maybe get a signature for a couple of bucks. I never got the signature. Here's uh, Joan Jett, I Love Rock and Roll. I got that in the shrink a couple of times. This is just the record only. Look at all this dirt is like... All the dirt and dust is falling out on my shirt. <laughs> Mary McGregor, Torn Between Two Lovers. I like that song. Yeah, it's a corny song, but you know something? This is a good case where I decided, you know, I have the 45 of this. So that's all I'm ever going to need. I'm not going to play this album. So uh, Here's Johnny Mathis Sings. Johnny Mathis Sings, record only. Billy Joel, Glass Houses, is in really bad condition. Just the record. Billy Joel, A Stranger, and just the record. 
I remember this one well. This is pretty rare. This is a soundtrack album to the 1980 film, the Brian De Palma film, Dress to Kill. Uh, I had a really nice cover in mint condition, which has shrink wrap on it. The record had a big gash on it. So there was a thing where I sent away for another another one, and I exchanged a beautiful mint record into the Frankenstein the albums together. So this is useless. Can't even play it really on one side. I don't know what this is. Country music popular hits one. Country music popular hits two. Country music popular hits three. Popular hits four. Country, uh, country music. I don't know. Maybe it was in a box set or something. I don't know. Let somebody have fun with them. Uh, when I started collecting records uh, back in the very beginning of 2000, well, I started in, I think, October of 2011. This was one of the things I just bought for a dollar at Goodwill, West Side Story. I'm never going to play it. I bought this as a joke, really, because, uh, you know, I can't stand opera. I hate opera. It's not my thing. And uh, my girlfriend likes some opera, you know. So... We used to joke about Marilyn Horn, and uh, I found this box set of Marilyn Horns. Um, I bought it for a gag, really, once. Here's a whole bunch of records by themselves. Let's see what's in here. Oh, yeah. Michael Parks. This is Michael Parks. I remember I bought an album by somebody. It might have been Connie Francis. I don't know. And the Michael Parks album was stuck in there by accident, so... Here's a hard day's night. I've got a video somewhere uh, where I sent for a hard day's night album and it came in the mail like this. It was cracked, got damaged in the mail. I've got a video on it. Okay, Bob Dylan, Blonde on Blonde. Double record set. Look at that, original Columbia 2 eye. Uh, this is stereo. What happens is I bought the Blonde on Blonde album because it had the uh, rare picture on the gatefold with the girl that's in there that was later on taken out of the, the gatefold picture and replaced by a picture of Dylan himself. But the records were in really crap condition, so I'm still on the lookout to get uh, a couple of good records to fit the gatefold. Uh, this is a Connie Francis record in crappy condition. Ditto for this one don't know what this is this is some this is some kind of Italian record I don't know how it got in here uh, this was Mr. Jaws you remember uh, Dickie Goodman I bought this album because I like all the, the funny songs that uh, you know Dickie Goodman did he would make like a thing where he was a radio announcer um, and then he would put songs in there, like snippets of songs. Anyway, people know what I mean. Energy Crisis 74, Mr. Jaws, and others. Uh, Flying Saucer, Superfly Meat Shaft. But anyway, when I got this record home and I played it, I realized it was like a condensed version. And a lot of the songs, for anybody who has this record, you may not know, it's not the same as the 45s. I guess there was legal problems, legalities, and things like that where they had to like take some of the snippets of the songs out and they weren't allowed to use them so this record is incomplete the only way to really have these the right way is to have the 45s i was at a garage sale once and i remember i got this for 10 cents i'm a fan of jackie gleason the honeymooners so it's 10 cents then it suddenly dawned on me even though this is in really nice shape i'm never going to play this record uh rod stewart every picture tells a story I think I have this in better shape. This is kind of messed up. Uh, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, same thing. Great album, but uh, I've since, since got this in much better shape. <clears throat> so I don't, I don't need that anymore. The Platters, this is a Golden Hits album. I don't know what the deal is with this. The only thing I can guess is that... Yeah, the record's pretty messed up. I probably have this in better shape. I know I have, I have a few Platters albums. Don't know how I got this in here. Deep River and Other Spirituals. Robert Shaw, Coral. You know, it's maybe I bought this because I wanted to hear some music. I don't know. Amazing the stuff you come across, huh? 
Judy Collins, so early in the spring, I probably got this for like a quarter or something in the first 15 years. I mean, this is probably a good album, but, you know, I don't know, nothing I'm going to play. Other Connie Francis, a couple of Connie Francis albums that I've upgraded. Okay, this is going to confuse a lot of Beatles fans out there. This is a cover only. I'm going to hold on to this maybe because I'm going to have this in better shape. This is the version from later years in the 1970s where the cover, you can see the darker, almost brownish red. And here's the original one. See the difference in the red, the colors? This is lighter. Uh, I've got this album so many times. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can salvage this record. I don't know. Somebody at Goodwill's eyes are going to pop out of their heads. I don't know. Maybe I can give this to my record store guy. I wanted to give some merchandise to my favorite record store that I didn't, that I thought maybe they could use. This might be sellable. Keep that. This is just a cover. Maybe I'll keep this for framing too. This is uh, I'm, a lot of Connie Francis stuff here. You know, it's not even worth showing. You know, another split one. As I say, with the Connie Francis stuff, I just kept upgrading as I went along. I don't know what this is. This is Christmas with Burl Ives. It was, I remember, I like Burl Ives. I like, I like the sound of his voice, but when I played this whole album, just remember, I didn't like it. I'm sure surprised. I thought I was going to like the whole thing, you know, but uh, I didn't. Okay, I'm sitting here with a cover for Yesterday and Today. In fact, maybe what I'll do is go back and put that Yesterday and Today album that I showed into this cover. I don't know why this is like, you know, it's kind of split on the seams. I just have no need for, especially Beatle records that I collect that are messed up. But I'll piece that together. This is an Elvis Presley record. Elvis's Gold Records Volume 2. It's uh, the record only. It's a little scratchy, a little scuffy. Couple of more Connie Francis albums that I got in better shape as I went along. So, um, is that it? That's it. Well, I thought that would be fun. I don't know. Um, that's the junk that I've got sitting around here. It's been right here on the side by the wall for a long time, and you know, trying to empty this place out. And uh, I think there's some things here that they'll be able to use at Goodwill, and a lot of it just to unload some trash actually now you know why all the records that are arrive at goodwill are hit and miss collections like this right anyway just something to do for the morning here and uh thanks for watching again folks take care